Hello! Welcome to another installment of the Hippie Cave Madness. I have for you today an amp that I've been using almost exclusively lately for the last few months. It is the Quilter Tone Block 200. Now I'm going to demo a couple of the sounds that I get out of my quilter tone block. Um, the controls are pretty, I mean, they're boneheaded simple. There's only three knobs on the damn thing. Basically, you have a gain knob that goes from line level into an overdrive section. And I don't use the overdrive section because I use a reverb pedal and because it doesn't have an effects loop. Uh, I'm hoping they come out with one with an effects loop and reverb on board, but until that happens, I use a reverb pedal on the pedal board. So I, I stay on line level, so the gain isn't messing with the reverb. And everyone knows how a reverb pedal sounds in front of the amp with a bunch of overdrive. It's just hell. So I had mine set the gain pretty low. And the wattage over here, the master, it's, it has a setting from 0 watts to 200 watts. And I've played all over the world with this thing at crazy high volumes. And I've never put it past 45, 50 watts, ever. So, well, maybe I've gone to 75 watts, like, when it got crazy. But, I mean, that was, like, I turned down after that song. <laughs> so, um, and the middle is the contour knob, which is basically a full range EQ in one knob. So all the way to the left is, like, a, um, is like a, a, a mid scoop, you know, with, it has a high end and the low end, and it just scoops out the mids. Which I don't like personally, but a lot of guys like, but I'm, if anybody who knows me knows, I'm all about the mids, so. That's what it sounds like with no reverb or anything in that setting. Sloppy, but, um, let me turn the volume a tiny bit up. Let's piss off the neighbors. So, uh. And then you have, going up to the, at noon on the contour knob, you'll have a full range EQ. Which, I mean, I'm sorry, which is a flat EQ. Where it's just, you know, flat. And that sounds like, like this here. at all that's how it sounds that's great it's a good pure bass sound to start building from um, what I like oh, oh, all the way to the right I should say is a bass uh, scoop and a mid high hump so it basically if you could see from the close up it looks like a that. <laughs> so it sounds like this. Now I like that one the best, but what I do is most of the time, depending on what speaker I'm uh, playing through, because on the road I can't usually pick my own back line, well, I say I want a certain amp, and if it shows up, it shows up. Cool. But <clears throat> this thing, with this knob, you can get any speaker to quack just how you want it to quack. So what I normally do is set it up right about here, right around 3 o'clock, where it's picking up the, the bass scoop and the, and the flat together. So it's more like... It's just got a nice all-around... picks up everything there um, and then I put a splash of reverb on it and and this amp just 
does everything. And it handles pedals really well. So this is my, again, this is my pedal board. If I was on, a, was on a gig with my the reverb going and the Oddfellow FX Caveman Drive 2 going. And I had the uh, power uh, tone block just cranked. This is what basically the volume is. the quilter tone block 200 it's got balls and tone for days it weighs four pounds and uh, <laughs> it's really amazing it's really incredible also oh it has a direct out right there for the sound man sound man will love you this direct out actually taps the speaker so it actually sounds really phenomenal and I've used it for recording and it's awesome uh, this is my go-to amp at the moment I have that's gonna change every week probably, but at the moment, this is the one, dude. Bye-bye.